the time has come. After months of speculating, theorizing, <laughs> and anxiously waiting, uh, we finally got to see Christopher Nolan's new movie, Tennis. Uh, I've seen it yesterday here in Sweden. Uh, Sven, Claudia, you have seen it uh, also yesterday in Amsterdam. Yes. 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 Uh, we haven't talked uh, with each other <laughs> yet about it. Not on WhatsApp, nothing. Uh, so uh, we don't know anything uh, about each other, uh, what, what, what we think of it. So I'm very curious to find out uh, uh, what you two uh, think about it. Uh, I also have an opinion, of course. So yeah. uh, let's not talk too much. Let's just dive into it. Um, I want to start with a one-sentence non-spoiler review. So just one sentence. And then afterwards, we're going to, uh, well, split up the movie in its separate uh, categories, like the, the acting, the production design, screenplay, etc., etc. But now let's start with that one-sentence non-spoiler uh, review. Claudia, I'm gonna kick uh, it off with you. Yeah. I'm gonna kick it off with you. What would be your one sentence non-spoiler review? The end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. The end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. And yeah, I could also say nee, it, yeah, no, yeah. only one. Uh, only one. Only one sentence. Despite, uh, unless you want to change your one sentence no. to another one sentence. It's a good the rest one. Do, no, I like no, it. No, yeah. no, it's good. We, we keep it. I had okay. in mind something the, else, but I can drop yeah, yeah. it first. The, the rest you can explain yes. later during this review. <laughs> yeah. Sven, your one sentence, non-spoiler review. A mind fucking puzzle that throws you forward, but ends up backwards. All right, all right, all right. We got also a bit of uh, time uh, time involved here in this in the non-spoiler review. Good one. Uh, you can uh, dive into it more during the the long spoiler review. Um, my non spoiler, yeah, yeah, my one sentence non spoiler review. My one sentence non spoiler review is extremely complex, surprisingly simple. That's uh, that's that's yeah. my uh, one sentence non spoiler uh -huh. review. Uh, what this all means, we will find out now when we're gonna talk to each other in the spoiler review because that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna dive into it now. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, get out of here now and return here after you've seen it. Um, then we're gonna dive into it. Before we do that, uh, we make videos like this each week about movies and series and stuff. So if you'd like to hear us talking, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, after a while, when you are watching this, and you think this is fun, push that like button. Then we will dive into it now. Um, guys, I want to start with... Um, I actually wanted to make a point about expectations and going to see movies and and being like, um, well, that they play a big role if you uh, wait, as I mean, a lot of fans waited for this movie for a long time and then you have a certain expectation and that can also uh, have a big uh, impact on your... Definitely. Yeah, yeah, on your view and... and Positive I mean, and negative. I yes, think. exactly. So, um, yeah. Also, also the a movie way. fan, I think, uh, because this year it, it, it's, it's the biggest uh, production being released in 2020 uh, yeah. because of Corona. I mean, there are not many movies being released uh, yeah. from, from the big production houses. Uh, so, yeah, so Yeah, so also as, as, as a movie fan, follower... Um, but not definitely a Nolan fan. You were looking like, forward to this because it's something yeah. new, you know, and, and excitement to go to the cinema to see something new again. That's all. But, 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 but in that way, high. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But in that way, it's maybe good that we di dissect it in, in separate so we can uh, judge it on its yeah. separate uh, things and then in the end in the, on the whole thing. So okay. let's start with the acting. So what did we think of the cast of Tenet, the, the actors, uh, their performance? Uh, Claudia, I want to start uh, with you. If we're talking now about the performance in general, and if you're not talking about the interpretation and the choice of actors, um, I would say that it was a solid performance. But I think that in this movie, it's not about the actors, or the actors play a part in a bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I think the performance is not something we have to talk about a really long for time. For long, no. 
No, I, I agree with you. Uh, I think for what they got, uh, what they had mm. to do in this movie, I think they did it. They did it uh, well. Uh, I actually never saw Robert Pattinson in anything. We got our friend uh, Kuhn sometimes in this show, and he's a big Twilight fan, so oh. he has <laughs> he has seen him. Yeah. But I haven't seen him, uh, and I was I think like uh, he does, did a good job. Mm-hmm. John David Washington, we already knew from uh, uh, Black Klansman, of course. Uh, yeah. where you could really see his talents shine through. I think he was also yeah. good in this movie. But like you said, the screenplay uh, didn't uh, give them room to really excel, I think. But then we dive later into the screenplay, yeah. of course. But maybe I, I get um, what you say. Uh, the side character, uh, the women, uh, was the most outstanding. Because she, she, she had a bit more, I think she had the most emotional space in this movie. Let's say yeah. it like that. Yeah, most, most most depth. Yeah, her name yeah, was the uh, Bicky Elizabeth yeah, the Bicky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know her uh, before this movie, but I think she she did well. And like, and, and I was also I have to say, for me oh. maybe best was uh, Kenneth Brenner as the the Russian. And um, now let's move into the production design. So, what did we think about the sets and the whole world that was created? I think it's not a um, secret that it's uh, that. Christopher Nolan is a fan of James Bond and uh, he also was truly inspired and I think uh, made a good uh, um, solicitation, I say it, it's English, right? Solicitation? Uh, Application. Uh, Application, application, of course, uh, that he can be the next uh, James Bond director because he he well, created, he created yeah. like, he chose these locations. Uh, I really loved, uh, well, he, he went from uh, Tallinn, like this uh, Eastern European uh, capital city, Kiev, Opera House, Bombay, uh, Bombay, the North Sea with the windmills. Uh, where did he went again? Uh, Italy. I, I, coast, yeah, I, I loved. I loved especially the the location that I loved best was the very last location, uh, almost like po- post apocalyptic uh, area. That's why we also, Sven, when we saw the trailer, we thought it was a different planet. Yes. Well, it turned out it wasn't, which I found no. a bit uh, a bit too bad in a way. Uh, but uh, but that 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 location was was great. I think it was very yeah. uh, uh, cool scenery. I think unbelievable. It's existing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. just a real location. Uh, I think it was supposed to be Ukraine or something. But uh, so uh, so yeah. Now for for me, the yeah, I think the sets and the locations were were really uh, really cool, and uh, the the world was set up really well and very and really realistic also. And that's of course. But Nolan often talks about he doesn't do much CGI or computer uh, images. Uh, a lot of what he does, he wants to be real, and that you can feel when you look at the movie. Up until the 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 airplane that he really bought to really blow up, and this, so there's no uh, computer involved there. And I think as a viewer, you can feel that it's um, that it's real. Um, so that that I really really liked from the from the production and design. Yes, yes. Yeah. Also the airport in Oslo. Uh, by yeah. the way, Claudia and yeah. I went. Oh yeah, uh, you recognized the opera, the opera opera house in Oslo. Oh. It's, it's a really cool futuristic uh, building. Yeah. Um, yeah. On the other hand, I have to say, uh, yeah, it was all. Uh, well, it was good made and and but it was, it was nearly like, well, it was not outstanding. I, it it was how I would have expected it to be. Like when he's on on the big uh, yacht in in the sea, yeah. he's of course in a southern yeah. place. So yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's, it's like not surprising. Really, no, it's really cliche. Like yeah. it was cliche yeah. in in. Uh, well, there were situations I was thinking, yeah, okay, this is for me a little bit too mainstream in the end like mm. why is he in that sense okay he has of course this thing with uh james bond and i can expect from james bond he's take yeah. being in that location but mm-hmm. yeah i don't know i i but, really but, uh, got well, yeah. well done and well chosen but it was not that i thought whoa 
this was I, really I, 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 I get, I really I get, understand. Yeah, yeah I, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, okay, I, I get what you're saying, and I agree that it's that it's cliched, the locations that that they picked, but I think that's more screenplay than production design. Mm. Uh, and I think my 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 biggest trouble with this movie is also in the screenplay. But I think mm -hmm. the, the, the scenes and the sets that they had, that they chosen, uh, yeah. they were very well developed in the end, I, I think. Uh, yeah. as, not all maybe, but especially yeah. the, the, the last one uh, impressed yeah. me most. No shockers. It's not that it no. uh, will go into revolutionary uh, no. production design. I agree with no. that. No. Um, but I Yes, but no, I agree. The, I mean, yeah. the, the whole thing stays and... And and um, well, the whole the whole story is depending on the screenplay. That's for sure. Then, exactly. of course, the decisions they made yeah. were accurate and hundred percent safe. Yeah, on the safe uh, side. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. So we're gonna certainly talk about the screenplay. But if you, but if you compare, <laughs> for example, if you compare it to other movies he made, I think it was not the most original. No. Uh, set the uh, set design. No, no, no. It was not the most original set design, and I think in a, in a lot of things it was not. Uh, but maybe we should just dig into that screenplay because I feel yeah. it's, uh, it's uh, hanging yeah. above our yeah. heads. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, so. Uh, now the, the screenplay, Claudia, uh, you already said it. Um, you had some trouble with uh, with with how it was built up. I think. Um, well, not how it was built up, but. It's just, well, perhaps I'm also in that sense quite critical because I normally look for something new in a movie. Like, is there something I haven't seen before? Well, I know it's difficult nowadays to expect something. That's my expectation when I go to a movie, um, especially from a director that is well-known and he's well-known to build uh extraordinary worlds uh where amazing things can happen and also here amazing things are happening that's not the the thing but i just i don't know i just had the impression that the whole topic about time and it's something that he already covered I mean, it's something he's into anyway, like Inception. That, that's his, yeah, that's his theme. So, yes. yeah, okay, that's that's okay, but uh, what mean, you do with it? Yeah, well, I think you could, I think it's he he made a well the job. I mean, he he did a good job. It's not that I think um, the screenplay was not. Well, there was. Yeah, but again, but, but, but I think Shea, yeah, know? if I think what you say, Chloe, yeah. is a is a very important thing that that. Uh, also sticks with me a bit uh, is that uh, what you say it is Christopher Nolan he is known for things he has this name he has this budget yes. so that's yeah. also what we judge him on exactly uh, yeah. Mm. It's, yeah. It's, yeah and it's that's like, what I yeah. expectation and that's why I think I had a problem when you have a central scene where everything comes together mm. a really cliche in a way of narrating a story mm. where everything is um, like the the core message is coming when everything is nearly exploding everybody's nearly yeah. dying yeah, yeah i think you know where from which scene i'm talking mm. and he's having a phone call with um kenneth mm. Mm. a russian and yeah. uh oligarch and he's talking about um yeah well the, the message that actually i thought that's probably the message he wants to give out to the world like yeah, how we have to um, be responsible for the future generation, about the planet. Mm. Um, so there was kind of these three, four sentences um, in a really, uh, well, let's say build up, uh, um, build up screenplay that was also kind of uh, really something you could predict. So it's not mm. surprising. And oh. then also the core message was not, I don't want to say it was uh, corny, but it but wasn't. Was the, but, but, but Claudia, was there really a message? Was that really the point of this movie, to have a message? I no. don't think so. No. Maybe, maybe we have to recall this yeah. dialogue a little bit for the yes. viewer. Uh, because they were talking about um, uh, the villain, the Russian guy, was saying uh, the world des deserves to be destroyed because we 
we empty it uh, out. Uh, that was a refer, I think, to environmental problems, like that we, 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 we drawn it all out. And then um, mm. the protagonist was saying, uh, well, we should give every generation uh, a right and a chance yeah. to stand up for themselves. Yeah. And yeah, but, this, yeah. this uh, really uh, yeah, high-end conversation in the middle of a panic, uh, crucial fact, is the world going to end or not? Yeah. Is that... Um, yeah. yeah, how did you see that, Klaus? No, I think the whole movie uh, doesn't really have a point. And that's uh, that, That's my thing. So they might have le well have left that out. Mm -hmm. um, because if I if I dive into the, the, the screenplay, uh, I had I had troubles. I had better, quite quite some troubles with the screenplay. And that's that's exactly what you are saying, uh, Claudia, mm -hmm. is that I think a, a man of the stature and, and uh, um, uh, reputation of Christopher Nolan Giving a, a 205 million dollar budget, uh, you you are allowed to 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 expect a bit more. Uh, especially you don't like his former work. I do like quite some of his former work, but I think it's 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 the further he comes in his career, the the more he goes away from what he's best in, and that's telling a great story. Um, and I think if you look at the personage that we talked about before with the actors. Um, the, 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 and I think it's a deliberate choice that he makes because there's a reason why our hero is just called the protagonist. He doesn't even have a name. He doesn't no. have a name. He doesn't really have a backstory. None of the characters have a backstory, only the Russian guy and the woman no. a bit. And I think it's deliberate choices he makes. This is the movie he wants to make, high concept, uh, really diving into that. But for me, I like to have motivations. I like to have mm -hmm. uh, personal feeling and connection to the characters oh. to, to, to feel why I, why I have to care about what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And if, if you're looking at um, James Bond, his, 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 his example uh, for this movie, what, what he wanted to make and then mix in sci-fi, if you look at the, the best Bond film of the, at least 20 years, I think nine out of 10 would say Skyfall. And why is Skyfall so great? Because James Bond is vulnerable. James Bond suddenly is not this uh, tough, just tough guy saving the world. He's a person that we can all connect to. We get backstory of about his youth and those kind of things. And that was all lacking in this movie. It was just visually very good made, but the screenplay, uh, when it comes to the characters and those kind of things, there was not much there, I think. No, but I, I totally I agree. I yeah. agree. I, we, I think we, yeah, I also totally agree. And um, the only person I talked with about the movie was Claudia, of course, because we went together. And this is, was kind of the common conclusion we made also afterwards. Um, of course, it has some outstanding parts, but uh, I think that's on the cinematography side, uh, which make this movie uh, worthwhile. And of course, the puzzle, if you are into, if you really like to, um, well, to, absorb information, uh, small information, uh, really detailed information, which is connected with other parts in the movie. And if you, if you like that uh, and you you can be satisfied with uh, yeah, finding out how everything is connected and how the story, but for me, and I think for a lot of viewers, that's not enough for a, nee. good, for a, for a good, good high-end movie. Yeah, it's um, it's very clever made. It's very well thought yes. out. He worked on this yeah. script for five years, yeah. and you can see that he worked because everything has to connect. It's very, it's almost like mathematic what he's doing. And it's also, yes. if you look at his explainer videos of yes. Memento, he makes also graphs and stuff. It's almost math what he's doing. But mm -hmm. movie making has to be something more, I think. And yeah. I and exactly, I, and, but that just to just one, yeah. I don't want to interrupt, but because I was saying I'm not the biggest Nolan fan, but I. I mean, Memento is one of the movie I, I lo really love. Or yeah. Interstellar. Yeah. I yeah. had goosebumps when I was. Yeah, ex exactly. But that's yeah. now but you're exactly. Is, yeah. But that's Interstellar missing. had character building. You were involving with, with yes. the daughter, with yeah. the, with the yeah. father. Uh, this relationship was created yes. here. That there was no creation. There was no. there was a glimpse of friendship, and and and. Uh, supporting act of course the mother with the son but that was too far away from you yeah, but, but not, if you, if, not yeah. developed if you look at it why that john david washington the only thing he cared about was within uh, a day he cared a lot about this woman all of a sudden yeah. and this became his, like he wanted to do the, everything for her and yeah. that's like why I, yeah exactly that's also something that was never actually worked out like they didn't work out that kind of part of the movie it was right. like why did he care so much about her? And also, 
I think uh, Robert Pattinson as Nielsen or Niels was I. Niels. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He asked him, "Why do you care so much?" I think he asked him even in. Yeah, the I think movie. so. Yeah, yeah I think and so. And he yeah. didn't even have an answer, or right. I think he hadn't. But it was like it, so. It, 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 it might be that that Nolan wants us to think about it, and that maybe from the future, because what we find out in the end. But then I feel like, yeah, okay, but maybe you should put a bit more into the movie, or if you know, and that's what I when I discussed it with uh, with my girlfriend yesterday. Mm. Like if we know there there will be a sequel, but Nolan doesn't really make sequels. But if we know that, then we know okay, this is a build up. Uh, interesting. I'm I'm inter- interested to see what's oh. happening more. But this is this is it. This is what yeah. we have to do it with. And to, to come back at your point, what you said about Nolan and uh, Interstellar, Memento. Uh, oh. But for me, my one of my favorites is Prestige. How he plays with the audience oh. and, and expectations and, and yeah. has these characters with motivations and, and mm-hmm. real people. And he stopped doing that more or less after after Interstellar Inception. Yeah. I, I also connect didn't connect with because it was also concept before character. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and yeah, for me that's yeah, that's not, I, not I what it should be about. Because yeah. Prestige, I also thought it was a really great movie. And yeah. um, and Inception, I also had the the same thing as you say. It just left me cold. Like in a yeah. sense, I was. It was too much of science, uh, too much of details going into some complex, some complexity that I can't. Well, if you're there and you watch this movie, you can't get a grip on the whole complexity of the movie. You can only um, get, I think, probably 20, 25 percent of the puzzle. Mm. I, and I think this is also frustrating as mm. somebody that is sitting there because you think like, whoa. There's so many things happening and the details mm. and why. Mm. And then you think that, well, I don't have a clue really. Mm. That's something that you can also say perhaps he plays with uh, this kind of expectation um, of the viewer that is going there and, and having the thing, yeah. I want to get to know, but he's like saying no. He's undermining exactly. the expectation, saying yeah. you will not get what you want because you're yeah. not going to get a clue what I want to tell you. Yeah. It's it's also a way to to say uh, to, uh, it can be a statement in the sense of our world has become so complex. Well, could I don't be. want to get too yeah. much of information, but yeah. it could be like. But, but, but it, it is a deliberate choice. It's it's not that he yes. forgot he forgot to to he's too smart for them for that. He's yeah. not. He did, it's not that he forgot to put in characters or no. character development. No. It is a deliberate choice. He doesn't want us to focus on that. But focus on something else. But yeah. I'm not sure if I want to go with him and focus on that. I want to also some uh, connection. I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's well, think, the thing. Yeah, I think it's if you. Yeah, it was all about the algorithm. The algorithm uh, would destroy the world if it yeah. was connected. So, in that sense, you can I think speculate about the motive uh, for this movie and his view upon the world. That yeah. Uh, the world where we live in is too complex, uh, named by algorithm. Like mm, everything mm. is about the algorithm nowadays, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. like destroying democracies from Russia to the States. Yeah. Uh, it was also Russia against the States again. Yeah. Um, but okay, fine with that. Uh, great motif. I think he's not the only one being worried about that. Uh, it doesn't make it a good, a good movie. Exactly. I, I think I think he's he's. Uh, while his career proceeds he's trying to uh, be more clever and clever each time and with that losing is 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 real art form because i think he is a great storyteller he show he has shown that in the past but with dunkirk yeah. of course he also experimented it was also al- almost documentary also almost no uh, character development it, it didn't matter in dunkirk it was all just about the war and that's the choice but for me again that movie also didn't really work and I feel if he combines what he did with Prestige, Memento, uh, um, The Dark Knight, uh, for oh. example, where yeah. you care and are personally connected to the characters and you connect that with the cool, because I think there is a lot of cool technology and science oh. within Tenet and within Inception. But if you bring more believable and personal connections into it, you've got the perfect movie, I think, almost. So that's oh. what yeah. I find a bit disappointing well we discussed interstellar uh, some weeks ago uh it was in our top three of his best yeah. uh, uh movies and there he also like went on a path really sci- really with a lot of science and uh, well the, the general viewer would not understand that but what he uh succeeded in was that he also 
put a lot of uh, normal life elements in it. Uh, and he did character building. Yeah. And uh, there, I think he combined also his uh, yeah. his, his his best of, you know, yeah. uh, um, complex plot with uh, human touch, uh, cinematography yeah. outstanding, and a new world. Uh, yeah. And, and, and blockbuster-like uh, exactly. grandeur, grandeur, more or less. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but, because, of course, yeah. But, it, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah. well, that was actually maybe his last uh, success formula then. Well, yeah, for us. Let, let's, for let's, us. let's let's yes. let's make yeah. that clear. There are people that really enjoy uh, his last movies. Yeah. Uh, we are clearly... Uh, well, I have to say, here we come to expectations again. Uh, Mm. I have been very critical the last uh, uh, day after I came out of the, the cinema and also talking about it with my girlfriend. But if I look at it from a distance, of course, I have to say this movie is better than 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 ninety percent uh, out out there because there is, of course, it is a, a very remarkable feat. But then, at the other hand, give two hundred five million dollars of budget to some other filmmaker, maybe they can also come up. If something great, so that's but but it is a very well made movie. Of course, of course. Okay. Of uh, course, I mean, but, it's a perfect movie if you want to have entertainment. Yeah. On Saturday night, you go to the cinema, you have a great time. Because what we didn't talk about yet is, and I found that was the most for me amazing part was the music. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. It didn't have Hans Zimmer this time, but right. and I it found it shouldn't have. No, no, I I, like, I was I was I by Ludwig yeah. uh, Jørgensen. Jørgensen, yeah, I, I yeah. found it, uh, it was, surprisingly good. Was it, it the was first good. time you heard something from him? I think so. For me, I don't know. I, which, yeah, what, he did. He did uh, the Mandalorian, uh, the Star Wars series on Disney Plus. Uh, yeah. He did the music for that, which was also a very big task and and very big shoes to fill, mm. of course, coming yeah. after John Williams. But there, he also created very much his own sound, which I also recognized in here. Now, also some bit of techno sounds, techno yeah. uh, metal kind of yeah. things. And, but the whole build up, bam, 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 bam. It was constantly kept you yeah. in your seat for yeah. that matter. Yeah. And uh, impressive. Yes, I found really the music was yeah. one of, for me, outstanding, yeah. I have to say. I really, it made the difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the, mo well, kind of mediocre sometimes for me, uh, plot and also, um, well, action scene. Well, there were some great action scenes, but I think the music made the difference. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, and, and I think you do have to give credit, credit when it comes to cinematography, which is, uh, of course, for a large part, Nolan together with Hoyte van Hoytema, the Dutch yeah. uh, uh, cinematographer. But I really wanted to make a point also here because I think the, cin the cinematography we have, we have to also... Zoom exactly, in a bit, right? The, the actions and the reverse technology, yeah, and that's of course on. that's of course what Nolan seems to have his whole mind focused on mostly. Like, okay, yeah. this has to be perfect, and and yeah. th this was new. This was something. Yeah. Uh, this was well, th this was this was phenomenal for me. Yeah. Uh, the music, okay, was great, yeah. but for me, this was topping. This yeah. was the top. I mean, we we all know this this uh, playing backwards uh, uh, sequences. Like movie clips from the nineties, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, okay. but this was different. Yeah, this was not only playing backwards. This was, yeah, uh, I agree. It this was, was similar in the same yeah. shot, going they, backward and forward, the same people. They acted yeah. though; it, it also that way. They, they, they did the acting. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. Hoyte van Hoytema said that they had to rebuild the cars because, of course, it was all really sh shot like the car scene in, oh. in Tallinn, I believe. Rebuild the cars so the movement could be in the right moment and blah. blah. So it's really planned, planned out and still not yeah. using much uh, CGI. And I think, yeah, well, you have to give. I think you, in either way, however, you always have to give credit if someone tries to stay away from com computer generated images, oh. I think, and make wow. create real worlds. Yes. Uh, oh. and, <laughs> Yeah, and if if you if you envision a movie like this and still dare to mm -hmm. not go into computers, mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's that's commendable. Yeah, no, I I totally agree. I mean, this was uh, I found it also it was really really ma well made. And yeah, I was saying to Sven because of the nine, I was just saying it's not new that we see something going backwards. Of course. Well, that's no. Okay. Of course, he developed it and he made it. He, he just brought it to a, a other level and and yeah. on a higher level. And of course, that's a different story. But um, well, if you want to argue, like he invented it, no. 
He oh. just no, yeah, of course. He just developed it. He, le- he level, he leveled up. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, he, he he put it to a next level. To yes. with, with this, with I remember the, the, the scene with the silver coloring car on the highway. Uh, yeah. You see it two times, but you see it from two different angles. Yeah. Mm. And it's still happening the same. Uh, yeah. Did this mind fuck? It also, this is a bit of a mind fuck. Beside of the, the the plot where all the the puzzle pieces are, you have to connect them. Yeah. But this was also really like, whoa, it's yeah. working. Right? So, well, what yeah. I've seen this before, but now I see it from from a different angle. Yeah. How is it doing that? Yeah, but but either way, uh, we talked about the screenplay uh, play a lot. But what what he of course did do well with the screenplay, and that's what he worked on so hard. I think is that he made it uh, connect forwards and backwards and that's of course not a easy that is a puzzle that you have to lay when you're working there i can already almost see him sitting there like ah no this doesn't fit and this and maybe maybe this became so much his his vision and uh well almost like passion that that he got too much sucked into that mechanics of the movie and by that, forgot maybe some things, but maybe I'm not giving him enough credit then. But uh, well, oh, that is I a part. I, yeah, I, that, I, he, that he was sucked up by perhaps he also really liked it because exactly. he, well, he probably liked to do this puzzle. Yeah. And he just got so much into it that he kind of lost track of the right. Ra- well, I mean, that's now really. He got lost in his own labyrinth. Yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah. uh, but but you have to again. That's that's. Then we look at the other side of the screen. But if, but if you look at that part, yeah, Daddy did very well, of course. Lay that puzzle, and and that's yeah, like almost math. And yes. uh, that that you have to give him credits for. Then again, yeah. that's the thing with this movie. There's a lot that you can give him credits for. But we yeah. have him, uh, of course, on a very. Uh, he is Christopher Nolan. He is standing on top. He's the yeah. man that gets uh, two hundred million dollars to mm-hmm. make his own movie. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, then 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 you get judged uh, by that, of yes, course. Yes, exactly. So, but um, I was also I don't know how you saw that bus because I had the um, just it just pops now up in my mind that the woman and the son I kind of saw them two as a special. At the end of the movie, there was this um, sentence about something with the bomb and she was walking there with the son. And for me, this was kind of a allegory to, I don't know, the the mother and son, who is going to save the world, I don't know, something like, I I had this, she was also shining light, she was blonde, she was, it, it was kind of, that's the only hope we have on wor- on the, on this world is just to, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, it was a try, but it was like, uh, yeah, hard to believe. Uh, but there was something special there. about. Yeah. I I saw. I don't know, but this mother son thing was really. It was not working like an interstellar, the father daughter no, uh, no, relationship no, that, no, that, no, that, 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 that brought the astronaut back to Earth. No, exactly. No. And, and I'm not sure, like, and that, that, that's what I have to be also uh, uh, fair about that, that I have to see this movie again because I have to be fair that, that I recently saw Interstellar again. I enjoyed it much more than the first time. I recently saw Pr- Prestige again, I enjoyed it mm. much more than the first time, but I think actually it was mostly because I was a bit younger then and not in the right state of mind for those movies. Yeah. Uh, and actually, if I dissected this, this movie now, the, the, how, how often I will watch it, the characters will be lacking because it, yeah. it's, it is not there. Yeah. Uh, but I will enjoy the puzzle probably more because I can oh yeah uh, and pe- yeah. piece them together yeah. and for that yeah. matter probably I will start liking it more yeah. and more if I see it. Because yeah. I think for you it went also sometimes too fast. I I, I was really prepared myself yeah. to to absorb information to be like uh, to be sharp to to see every uh, to scan whole pictures design. Yeah. Okay, can yeah. this be a signal for that? Can, I was yeah. really like watching like this. It's a different yeah. way of watching a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally you're gonna sit back and relax. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? Come and get me, you know. But I yeah, was yeah, yeah. sitting there, really like, okay, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but of course, then still you 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 miss things because of shots course. are going really fast, dialogues going fast. They have double interpretations. Uh, so in one movie you can't have everything, and yeah. Of well, course, you can. See the second time. 
okay well everything is i think maybe not no correct, but maybe, it, i mean but... you can you can have movies that are more uh, that that leave you differently yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah but uh, talking about this movie i think um yeah. all the puzzle pieces uh i think 100 percent I think not not many people were able to to get them all. No, no, no. no. Um, uh, and, and I think for that sense, of course, uh, watching it again will be uh, in that sense. You have effect. to you have to you have to watch it again. I think that's that's what this movie uh, uh, deserves, so to say, mm -hmm. uh, to watch it to watch it again. But what you said, the puzzle pieces. I was waiting for um, what this movie also a bit lacked. I think was the classical uh, Nolan twist there was at the at the end of course like okay he was the boss okay uh -huh. but but uh, with other movies i had more whoa and he uh -huh. was like yeah okay he's the boss okay yeah, sure mm -hmm. but the, the, he didn't have his uh, pr the prestige of course classical twist uh -huh. and memento classical twist at the end uh there, there was no real twist it was all for a movie that that moves back uh, backwards and forwards it was all quite straightforward so to say <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think the twist was the back and forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, the, the moment, moment, but, but uh, the, yeah. the moment yeah. that he was time traveling, yeah, that he was coming yeah. out of the gate for the first time with, with yes. the master. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, he was driving a car. Yes. Yeah, but but we saw that coming, right? From from the palindrome tenet. So th there was no real surprise there. A lot of people already figured out that this palindrome would probably. And we talked about it in our yeah. show. Probably mm. that's the way. Yeah. If we know Nolan a bit, that's mm. how he's gonna tell his story. It mm. fits backwards and it fits forwards. Uh, yeah, still, but that's... still, I, I find it really cool. Done, I, of I, course, I, I, it I, is I very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to subscribe it again because the yeah, yeah, of like course, the the birds flying back, the waves going back. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's maybe we've seen it before, but how he did it, he definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But no real shockers. Uh, that's that's what no. I mean. With other mo uh, Nolan movies, I had often like, oh wow, and that that's the, I didn't have those moments so much uh, now. No, but also you still, own, yeah. yeah, but you still probably have. I mean, I don't know how it is with you, but normally I have one picture when I when I think about Interstellar that's coming up yeah. immediately. Picture Memento as well. I immediately know this kind of special thing about the movie. And I think here as well, you will remember the back and forth. Of course, it's like the Matrix uh, exactly. Neo hanging in. Yes. Exactly, and that's what 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 Sven also said. This is, of course, we will see this uh, technique. In uh, that's just as what happened with the Matrix. Afterwards, yeah. we had a lot of uh, movies with the hanging in the air yeah. effect, and uh, we're gonna see this more now also. And that's of course what Nolan then does uh, again. He does uh, uh, technological uh, push it a bit forward again. Yeah, but that's a, the, the question. You really think that? Because why should you use this technique for what? Yeah. I don't know, but 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 if people find it cool, like in the Matrix, uh, like yeah, okay, why should you use it? it worked in the world of Matrix. But people did go use it in, I think, Hidden uh, Tiger, Crouching uh, Dragon, yeah. uh, those kind of movies. Yeah, uh, thing it makes totally sense because you have the yeah. 360 um, thing. But True. here it's it's not. Um, I don't see it there. It was it was really more an effect that was used for the story, and here yeah. it's it's different. The yeah. effect is the story. Well, that, that was what I was 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 discussing yeah. today. Today also, but did it start with the effect or did it start with the story in his head? Yeah, but that's the thing. I think, th and that's the difference. And I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't want to uh, say too much about how the future will be. But I don't think that this what he has made is um, a groundbreaking and going in. I said also no. to Sven yesterday, it's not film history what we've seen. No. No. no, and, and I had like Matrix yeah. was film history in absolutely, the same. absolutely, yeah. yeah, and and groundbreaking. So this yeah. effect was used, or was the story? Yeah, yeah but I found it an interesting uh, thesis. Uh, yeah, but how you formulated it, Claudia? Yeah, well, yeah. What was the effect? Uh, well, Matrix. Or or yeah. Nay, no, nay. No, what I, I said, like, yeah. it, did did the effect di dictate the story, or did the story dictate yeah. the effect? And I think if yeah. you look at his earlier movies, it was story first, and then yeah. see that's how I see them at yeah. least, and then see how we can tell this story. And yes. now I have almost the feeling that Nolan wanted to tell a story that has this palindrome kind of storytelling, yeah. and see, okay, which story can I build around yeah. it more or less? Yeah. 
my feeling again, <laughs> of course. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. No, but, but yeah, uh, I agree. The starting yeah. point maybe might have been the effect. Yeah. And yeah. that's what we also feel then because yeah. in Matrix, it was not the effect, the story. Like, it was a whole like, different story. Yeah. And yeah. the effect was part of it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think uh, also the element was maybe at least 40% was. Uh, you know, uh, not in real time happening of yeah. this movie. So maybe, yeah, it's not even an, uh, could be the right conclusion. Yeah, 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 I don't, I don't know. Uh, but no. yeah, in yeah. the end, what, what I really hoped yesterday when I saw this, I hoped that, that this next movie will be a small budget art house movie because I, I've i seen so incredible things from the guy and who, how he can tell uh, tell a story and, 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 and play with audience expectations. That I almost feel that that this budget is almost uh, more or less a curse for him. That he can play in a sandbox with all his uh, all his tools uh, and no limitations. Yeah, but that's something that is clearly. Um, uh, I think he's not the first one that has a problem with big budget, no, no. because there are directors that made incredible good movies without budget, and then they got a lot yeah. of money, and they just. Uh, that's that's Make how up. Nolan Nolan of course started with Memento yeah, and also the most, he he's, he looked at what is my budget and then I decided yeah. with the budget how I'm gonna make that that movie work. Uh, now he of course has unlimited uh, unlimited power more or less. Yeah. 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 But uh, no Leonardo DiCaprio, no link to no. Inception, and no, no link to the two thousand one Twin Towers. <laughs> no. No, nothing of that all. I was still hoping for it at some point that 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 would be the twist. Well, I did hope maybe not Leonardo DiCaprio, but uh, like like an interstellar twist where we all of a sudden saw Matt Damon in a in a role where we didn't expect yeah. him. Yeah. So I hope that that something like that then would pop up, but it was also not uh, not happening. Yeah, I, I, ju I just wanted to be surprised at some point, and oh. I was during this movie not really surprised. No, but that's exactly also what I had. It was not. Oh. No, well, there was not, well, yeah, oh. okay, there was perhaps the, the scene when you realize, okay, he was he fighting, was fighting himself. Yeah. yeah. That was maybe, yeah, little surprise, I mean, little yeah. one, let's call it a little surprise that he okay. was having the black suit and you knew, okay, he's not walking in there, he's going to fight himself. Um, you, uh, I was not surprised by that. <laughs> I no, yeah, no, yeah, right, right away. You knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I figured that yeah, out when, when, too, when we yeah. didn't get the shots on on who who Patterson saw, and yeah. then af afterwards he was not allowed to kill him. Like, okay, it's them. Uh, so there was also no shocker for me there. Mm. And maybe you I should, uh, maybe, out. <laughs> maybe uh, yeah. too too much uh, Nolan movies, but. Um, no, I don't know. But, but come on, we, we are talking now for, for, I think, half an hour, more or less <laughs> trashing this movie. And that's also not really uh, a fair, no, I think. We, <laughs> but we, we, we uh, made a big applause for the cinematographic part. And True. And how, and, yeah. how we uh, uh, created the, the form. Yeah. Nah, it's just like, it, I'm not going home with, it's not a movie. I mean, yeah, it's it, how I said, like, it's a great movie. Claudia for Saturday on. night with popcorn and yeah. and that's the budget. It's it's just it fits in this decor of. It's 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 like how you started this talk. Uh, we have we have a full circle again. Mm -hmm. It is uh, expectations. I think expectations yeah. is is all yeah. it is. Yeah. If this was a, a fifty million uh, dollar yeah. budget movie by an upcoming uh, director, we would be blown away would say wow who is this guy what is he doing i want to see his yeah. next movie give this yeah. guy 200 million <laughs> but, yes for a matter of speaking but yeah. uh, because it's nolan and we've seen what he can do uh, uh, with other movies uh, yeah. we we expect that when his career yes. furthers his movies get better and better and for us uh, uh, clearly that's not uh, not mm -hmm. the case but that's anyway a question. Are really the movies getting better and better with directors that getting older and older make more and more movies and with more and more money? Maybe that's not. A topic. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a topic because I don't know if I think of, well, just saying Woody Allen that makes a movie every year yeah. and every year the movies are getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> so just saying like... But, but with him it's not really a budget uh, because he doesn't make... No, no. no, no. But yeah. I don't know if... 
yeah, it's something to, well, it's an art form uh, in the end. And mostly when directors, especially like Christopher Nolan or really known director, they have a footprint on yeah. the style. Yeah. Uh, I really think it's like art. So they can't produce art every year. And now then when sure, they, of course, yeah. and they well, come in this you... machinery and of money and then they just do yeah. something and it's good, but it's not, but, it's like not the outstanding piece. But mm. maybe, I don't know the circumstances, how he had to produce this film, but I read that he had years uh, in writing this movie. Right. Uh, so it was not a pressure of time in this case. Maybe, right. uh, I don't know how he worked with the other movies. I'm, I'm, then, I'm too far away then from, from how he's working, but uh, maybe he got too much freedom. I don't know. Uh, that not... Somebody was correct. Yeah, too, too much, too, maybe too mm -hmm. much. But like I said, maybe too much possibilities. If you have this budget, yeah. you mm. start thinking, okay, what can I do with this budget as a director? What kind of cool scenes could I create? Hey, wait, yeah. I can create a world that goes backwards. I actually mm -hmm. have the budget to do that. Let's do that. Uh, what kind of story can I make with that? Uh, and I think it should work the yeah. other way around. What kind of story do I want to tell and which technique yeah. fits? Yes. Of course, uh, again, I'm just speculating. I think it might be that it didn't go like this yeah. at all, but, but that's the feeling I get. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing when I'm talking, like an artist is Before. expressing something or tells a story because he wants to tell the story. Here it's well, here's some money, tell a story. Oh, yeah. but I don't know what for story to okay. tell. I don't have any idea at the moment. Well, okay, yeah. I will f figure out something, you know, like. Yeah. And okay. with Memento, he he really wanted to tell the story. He probably had this in mind. He was thinking, I, f I really want to tell this kind of story and I want to do it and... Well, I don't know. I was, we are speculating. We don't exactly. know. And, and we are repeating ourselves also yeah, now. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I think we have to come to a conclusion. We now. have to come to a conclusion. Um, <laughs> um, if I have to come to a conclusion first, I think uh, this, this video has been uh, uh, way too much or way more critical than it uh, okay. maybe sh should be. But... Uh, it is expectations, like you said, Claudia. I went in with super high expectations to the mm -hmm. cinema. I hoped I would get prestige uh, and uh, Inception uh, and Interstellar more or less combined into the greatest movie of all time. Maybe also involved, like you, Sven. We have waited half a year. Half a year ago, I went for the last time to cinema. Now I was back in the cinema chair. I was ready to get blown away. <laughs> and uh, maybe it was the expectations were too high. But um, well, overall, he just make, made a good film. Uh, and a lot of components, if you take them together, he scored well with the music, which he, he is also very involved in, of course. He also directs the music and the score. Mm -hmm. And the cinematography, which he also directs. So there's a lot of things you can say for what he did very well on this movie. But I think we care a lot about, uh, about screenplay and, uh, and, and, and the character and those kind of things. And, and there uh, it, it lacked, I think. Uh, it was not refreshing and new uh, nonetheless my score would be uh, uh, three three point five stars out of five mm. I, um, I have uh, not many words to add on your uh, summary uh, I think we discussed uh, a lot of things um, what I want to point out is uh, the cinematography part that was I think for me uh, the best part of this movie uh, within the use of technique and uh, the way uh, also, the camera was always on the shoulder, on the back, dynamic, um, which, which makes it also really exciting. So if you um, want to have a, a puzzle, if you want to have action, if you want to have excitement, and in the end, entertainment, it's a good pick. But it's not much more than um, something else. It's not being blown away. So for me, three stars. Three stars. Okay, Claudia. Um, uh, yeah, I, I also don't want to add a lot. Um, I think uh, for hardcore Christopher Nolan fans, they will get um, the puzzle and the science topic and all the difficult things to well to well to watch again. Actually, to to think about after they, they get some part of Christopher Nolan's, um, uh, I think most, um, yeah, how do you say, 
it's not coming the words, but well, I think they get what they they get something what they want and they were looking for. But if you're also looking for uh, a story with uh, emotion and feelings and something where you can identify, then you probably uh, won't get that. But I give uh, three. By, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will also give three point five because. In, it's a good movie and it's a great entertainment. Uh, there's a lot of other things out there that are not so good if you compare exactly. to this. And <laughs> exactly. this is really, this yeah. is a really high standard entertainment. What you yeah. what you get and there is and I give a lot of credit for the music because that yeah. was the one that was driving me through. Watch Watch the Mandalorian. I can uh, recommend you. Good. All right. That was a great talk. It was great talking with you uh, guys. We were uh, quite on the same page. I already had a little bit of feeling uh, up front because uh, <laughs> we talked before about movies. Um, it was great talking to you. Uh, people watching, uh, I, I hope, uh, uh, well, you don't have to agree with us, of course, but I, I hope you will let us know in the comments what you thought about Tenet uh, once you've seen it. Uh, do you agree with us? Do you agree on some points with us, some other points not? Let us know in the comments so we can uh, continue the discussion over there. Uh, if you want to see us talking more often about films, series, those kind of things, uh, and you think it's fun to hear us talking, we're not always uh, this critical, we're sometimes also very positive, <laughs> then subscribe to this, uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you liked it, uh, like the video, and then I will say uh, uh, bye for now. To our viewers, I will say bye. To you, Sven, I will say bye. To you, Claudia, and see you bye. next time. Bye-bye. Ciao. Bye-bye.